Approximately one-third of all diabetes patients develop kidney or renal damage, also known as diabetic nephropathy. Urinary proteome analysis is an innovative method for early detection of this chronic kidney disease, enabling the identification of first clinical signs. The kidneys are highly developed organs that are very sensitive to any problems, for example in the case of diabetes, and can respond appropriately. They clean the blood and remove waste that leaves the body in the urine. The kidneys are made up of about a million filters called glomeruli and canals called tubuli. The process of filtration takes place in the glomeruli. About 1,500 litres of blood pass through the kidneys per day. While toxins are removed, a large amount of important substances are recaptured by the tubuli. Eventually, all toxins are discharged in about 1.5 litres of urine each day. When renal damage occurs, the filtering process as well as the reabsorption process become more and more limited. Diabetes-related high blood sugar levels cause permanent damage to the filters. In addition, diabetes patients often suffer from high blood pressure, intensifying the renal damage. The reduced ability to filter first becomes evident in an increasing amount of important proteins, such as albumin, leaving the body. The detection of proteins in urine is generally the first indication of such renal damage. A decreasing filtration rate, so-called GFR, is another indicator. Clinical signs such as pain or discomfort do not occur, with the result that diabetic nephropathy is most often only detected at a very late stage of the disease. An ongoing decrease in filtration eventually leads to irreversible chronic renal failure. When the kidneys are permanently damaged and no filtration happens, transplantation or dialysis is required. Otherwise, the body will be poisoned within a few days. Dialysis replaces the cleaning process of the kidneys and takes place every two days for several hours. During this time, quality of life is significantly reduced. Dialysis replaces kidney function for just several years as only 15% of the performance of healthy kidneys can be achieved. Kidney transplantation is the only long-term alternative option. Only a few patients can benefit from transplantation as the number of available organs is limited. However, the transplant's durability is limited. Urinary proteome analysis is the only diagnostic method enabling the detection of early renal damage with high reliability and before any clinical symptoms occur. Up to 6,000 proteins can be detected simultaneously. Using 273 specific protein markers allows an extraordinary accuracy in diagnosing diabetic nephropathy and enables early detection of disease. At this early stage, diabetes patients can contribute actively and successfully to manage their disease and its complications. Early therapy can prevent or delay renal damage and allows a life free of afflictions. Worldwide renowned physicians recommend the application of urinary proteome analysis. Get your health checked for a longer and healthier life. If you have kidney problems, you probably already know that diabetes is a common cause of kidney disease as well as an aggravator. However, it's important to keep in mind that not everyone with diabetes develops kidney disease. If you want to avoid kidney disease, or at least greatly decrease your chances of getting it, you should know more about eating a healthy diabetes kidney diet. Here are some of the basics. 
To start with, you need to keep your blood glucose levels balanced as much as possible. When your blood sugar reaches dangerous levels, it can harm your kidneys, eventually resulting in permanent damage. To look at how diabetes affects the kidneys, you need to understand how the kidneys work. When you don't maintain the proper blood glucose levels, your kidneys won't eliminate waste from your bloodstream. The kidneys may have to work harder to filter proteins and unneeded fluids from your body. The strain on kidney tissues can cause them to start to leak. When the kidneys leak, unhealthy waste products build up and start circulating in the blood. Kidney disease is likely to follow. When you have diabetes, your kidneys often become overworked trying to filter out excess starches and sugars from the blood. Just like any other organ in the body, if the kidneys do become overworked, they can shut down. And when this advanced stage of kidney disease occurs, it may be necessary to have dialysis or even a kidney transplant. The big problem with kidney disease for a diabetic person is that due to other medical concerns, a transplant is not always possible. The best way to avoid kidney disease is to learn as much as you can about how the kidneys function. When you have a clear understanding of how they work, you can help keep them as healthy as possible even if you have diabetes. It's really important that you find reliable sources of information about a kidney-friendly diet program, one that limits your protein intake while balancing phosphorus, potassium, and calcium. Large amounts of protein really place extra stress on the kidneys because one of their jobs is to excrete waste products derived from protein. Someone with kidney problems or diabetes should definitely restrict the amount and type of protein they eat. Protein in the diet should come only from sources that are easily assimilated into body tissue. Generally speaking, food that comes from animals, beef, fowl, fish, dairy products, all have high protein content. It's also extremely important that you regularly monitor your blood glucose levels. Don't just guess based on how you feel. You should actually test yourself on a regular basis to ensure your sugar levels stay where they belong. Another step in avoiding kidney disease is to maintain a healthy weight. If you're overweight or obese, it greatly increases your chances of kidney disease, especially if you're a diabetic.